So here I am getting ready to set out for Norfolk, our first trip uh, in the UK for about seven or eight years. Uh, we've concentrated over the last few years abroad mainly, but I think it's time to revisit our own country in the UK, see what's uh, what's happening with the wildlife. So we're going to one of our favourite places down in Norfolk. All I need to do now is pack the car. So that's it, the car's packed, the gear's there, I've got the navigation set. I can't I think I'm missing something. What do you reckon Molly? I've forgotten something. Oh yes, <laughs> the wife. Chris! Hi, I'm Ken Hadfield. Welcome to my Better Photography channel. So here we are, uh, on our way to Norfolk. Um, we're going to be staying in, in the north of Norfolk, um, near the coast. Um, for those outside the country, Norfolk's in the east of the UK and uh, it's well known to be a, a flat land. There's, uh, there's the Norfolk Broads which is uh, covered with lots of uh, canals and uh, the, where we're going is the coastline which has uh, got lots of wetlands, lots of opportunity uh, for, for photographing birds um, and uh, wildfowl. Um, and we haven't got any itinerary planned so far, but I have a few ideas where I want to go. And one of the first ones we're going to go to um, is a place called Cly Marsh. And that's where I've got a couple of photos that basically uh, it's been hard to beat, to be honest. Um, uh, uh, about seven or eight years ago since we were there just, and uh, I managed to get the images I'm going to show you now and these images uh, were at the time had never been actually captured so I was told it caused quite a stir at the reception area and uh, despite them being good images they were just not good enough quality to be published in the press although there was a, a fair bit of interest the uh, it was just a long distance away and uh, they were just not clear enough however in the last year or so i've come across some software uh, which i've already mentioned um, on my channel previously and i'm putting a link now to the two bits of software i used to make these much more usable in fact uh, one of them has in fact now been published in national press so uh, you might want to check them out so uh, we're about an hour away now and uh, I'll check in when we get there and then uh, we'll prepare to go out tomorrow to see what we can capture. So here I am, just arrived uh, in, uh, in North Norfolk at uh, a town called Hunstanton where the Cayley Hotel here caters for uh, human beings and little animals which is great for Molly who likes to come around with us. Um, the weather, as you can see, has greeted us nice and sunny. Uh, not the greatest for wildlife photography, but uh, hopefully uh, it'll get uh, we we'll get a nice evening and we can get straight out tonight and have a look and see what's available to us and, and see what stretches out over the next four days. As you can see, it's a lovely location and uh, it's going to be a lovely uh, place to start the day each day and uh, lots and lots of places all around here for nature and wildlife. Hoping to pick up some photographs of some hares if possible, and there's a lot of deer around as well. I believe uh, that the seals are birthing uh, around about this time, uh, although I'm told that it can be up to a 10 mile walk um, to get to the location uh, on the beach where this is happening. Uh, not something I don't think I'm going to do with my equipment at my age. Give me 30 years back, I might have had a go at it. But uh, we'll get what we get. And uh, the great thing is you'll be able to see. Um, each day I'm going to do a report from where we uh, are, are photographing. And then hopefully a small montage to show you what we get on the day. And I hope I don't embarrass myself by having nothing to show you. But uh, you get what you get in this business. And uh, I'm looking forward to getting out tomorrow and see how we get on. Well, here we are day one and we're at a place called Titchwell Marsh, really convenient for my hotel which is only four miles down the road and uh, it's a freshwater and saltwater marsh so that ups the number of uh, species we're about to see. I've had a little look down there and there's some good stuff going on. Uh, the geese have been really busy, we've got some amazing families uh, of geese. I thought I've just noticed one uh, with no less than 18 chicks. So uh, I'm going to get down there, do some photographing and I'll share them as soon as we're ready. So here I am in position, uh, right next to the freshwater lake, 
um, evening's coming on, the sun is right behind me so the light should be absolutely perfect. Let's just hope we get the birds to perform tonight. Uh, looking really much looking forward to this. So that's uh, the end of the day for us here at the marsh. Sun's just about going over and we do have an appointment to go and have a look to see if we can find some hares. We looked uh, around this morning and found uh, an area where we could see some but we couldn't get a decent image. So we're hoping we'll be there tonight and we we'll might get a, a decent, uh, decent photograph. Um, it's been a lovely afternoon. I think I've got some nice shots. I never promise anything until I get them back and onto my computer. Um, but it's certainly been a great opportunity to have a really nice afternoon in the company of the wildlife here. And um, if we get a few photographs to boot, well, that's a bonus, isn't it? See you tomorrow. So here we are at uh, day two. Beautiful sunny day again, but there is clouds rolling in, so hopefully that will uh, give us a better opportunity for the, the white birds this afternoon. We're at a place called Pensthorpe. Uh, it's about uh, 30 miles from the hotel we're staying, and uh, it's a glorious location, lots and lots of stuff to see. A magnificent lake, seven different hides, and a wonderful enclosed area, aviary, where you can see some wonderful birds in there in a natural environment. It's a beautiful setup. So, fingers crossed, we'll be able to have a really good full day's viewing here. So this is the Pensthorpe Weirder Aviary and it's a lovely, lovely natural setting for some lovely birds. I don't normally set myself a target but today uh, I'm, I'm going to try and capture a decent image of a bearded tit because they're in the reeds coming back and forwards as I speak. So let's hope that uh, they perch in a spot wet and get a decent shot. So we reached eventually after a, a gorgeous walk uh, from the, uh, the avia, aviary area to uh, the uh, the hides here uh, at uh, Wader Scrape Hides. There's two hides looking onto a, a, a nice lake area with some islands where there's a lot of breeding goes on for seagulls and terns. So uh, hopefully there'll be something around when we get in there.
Oh, I'm making way home after a, a great day today. I've had a smashing time. It's been, uh, the weather is exactly as it was uh, forecast, clouded over this afternoon, give us some better opportunities. And um, we realised something, I think, in the last couple of days here in England that you don't have to be you know, in the middle of Africa or on uh, the plains of, uh, of Texas to enjoy nature and wildlife. Uh, we've had a spectacular show today. I mean, there's nothing that would publish, I would suspect, but we've had lots and lots of, of activity. We've had uh, lots of natural poses um, and some natural behaviour which we've been able to record. And we're delighted we've had a great time. So much so we're going to jiggle our itinerary around and have a bumper day tomorrow, which I'll tell you about in the morning. Um, and then uh, on Sunday, we're going to come back to Pensorp and we're going to do all over again. We've had such a, a nice time. And uh, as for the uh, the shot of the bearded tit, well, <laughs> all day pretty much, this is the type of shot we've been getting. This, and this, and this. They are notoriously difficult to separate from the reeds around them. But literally, as we were packing the gear up, this little chap come along and give us this, which made everything so much worthwhile. Sometimes just one shot in a day can make you think, yeah, that was worth it. And today was certainly worth it. We're tired, we're hungry, and we're on our way back to the hotel now. We're gonna have a good night's sleep, and tomorrow is gonna be an even more special day. So we've just arrived here up at uh, Cly Marsh. Uh, it's on the, uh, the northern coast of Norfolk in the UK. And uh, this is the visitor centre. We're just uh, a little late out this morning, unfortunately. But uh, as you can see behind me, the clouds uh, rolled in. So we've got nice bright light uh, under a, a, a fair bit of cloud. Uh, the forecast potentially to come sunny later on, which could be a bit of a problem. Um, across the way towards the sea there, there's uh, several hides where we can go in and uh, quite a good selection of seabirds to uh, and, and waders to uh, check out. So. But I make my way down there now to a good two or three hundred yards and haul the gear down there and see what we get this morning. I've had a few hours now at uh, at Cly. Um, uh, the hide was okay. It was uh, not much around, to be perfectly honest. Uh, but we did get one or two interesting shots, and uh, uh, it was probably worth my while to come here. But I just wished to be a little bit more to see. But you know, this is nature. You know, it's not Disney. At the end of the day, you get what you get. So we're going to move on now um, to Holcombe Hall. Uh, just up the road. It's a country mansion, stately home, whatever, um, and it's got nice grounds, large lake. Uh, does very nice lunch, so we're going to have some lunch there and see what's on the lake, see if we can get some shots there uh, before we move on uh, this afternoon. So here we are, Holcomb Hall, stately mansion. Beautiful home and magnificent grounds. Lots of deer around here, beautiful lake with a lot of potential wildlife there. And I believe they've actually now stretched the, or the estate actually stretches as far as the sea, um, which is about a mile and a half uh, down the road. And uh, they haven't created a wetland with some hides there. So we're gonna have a look there before we leave this afternoon. But meanwhile, I'm gonna have a look uh, on the lake to see if there's anything happening there. And also see if we can get any images uh, of the deer. The deer are a long, long way away because there's been some kind of function on today. Um, but it's this 
a wonderful home built and uh, 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 actually still lived in by the uh, family who built it in the 18th century. Remarkable. What a place to live. So I'm sitting here lakeside, it's early afternoon and it's a fairly cloudy so I am able to take shots. There's nothing spectacular on the lake um, but there's some common birds and there's some great opportunities to get the geese flying in and out. As I said at an earlier time that uh, it's a, if you're going to start with wildlife photography with birds try with the larger slower moving birds and the geese are a perfect opportunity uh, to get uh, a bit of practice. In. And even if you're a professional photographer or a, a, a good amateur, it's always a good idea to come out and practice. You know, all the top uh, sports people, the snooker players, the darts players, they do it for a living and they come out and they practice four, five, six hours a day religiously. The more you practice with your shots, the better you're going to get. And a great opportunity to come to a place like this or even your local park and get sat down somewhere and get your camera you know, pointed towards the birds and shoot away. Try and get as much practice as you can uh, with wildlife flight shots. And the large birds come first and then you can start to hone it down to the smaller birds until you're able to capture most of the birds in flight. So here we are uh, later in the afternoon. Um, and uh, we've made the way back to Titchwell for the last couple of hours. Um, sadly, there's a lot of dark clouds rolling in here. Being on the coast, being in the UK, it's kind of natural, isn't it? Um, there are patches of sunshine now and then, so hopefully we'll be able to, to, to get something out of the day. But we've got some nice stuff from earlier on anyway, and um, anything we'll get tonight will be a bit of a bonus. So We're going to finish up here for a couple of hours and have an early night then off to Pencil for the whole day tomorrow. See you then. So after a marathon three venue day yesterday we're taking it at a slower pace today we've returned uh, to Pensthorpe uh, for a more relaxed day it's my wife's birthday so I'm gonna let her off the hook today but it's full sun you don't get in until 10 o'clock and they're only open until five so we may find it very difficult for photography but we know we're gonna have a great day anyway the location here I recommend to anyone it's a super spot and if uh, the sun does stay uh, then we'll try going back uh, to Titchwell and basically see if we can get the last of the day there uh, with the last of the sunshine uh, fingers crossed uh, we'll have a good day. trip's over, I'm making my way home, back in the sunshine. We've had uh, four days of uh, a lovely bright sunshine, which would have been great if we'd been going for a holiday uh, to lie on the beach or to, to sit around and uh, getting a tan. Um, not so great for photography. Um, 
it was really worthwhile though. We haven't got any iconic shots as it were, but we have got a lot of nice record shots. We've got some lovely shots of natural animal behaviour. Um, and that's what's important. It's more important you get out there and enjoy yourself amongst the nature. That's more important than anything. Um, that's what I enjoy the best. You know, you, you're out there, you're, you, your troubles are a million miles away, and you can just concentrate on watching this beautiful natural behaviour. For those who hung on to the end, uh, I've got a nice tip for you here. It's if you're going to be photographing uh, birds in flight and you want to catch them coming in uh, or taking off, uh, watch where the wind is. At the end of the day, they will take off into the wind. So try and make sure that you know, if you want to get shots with them facing forward, that in fact the wind is in fact coming over your shoulders. You can feel the wind behind you. Otherwise you're going to get a lot of pictures of birds taking off with the back to you. Um, so I always try to do that. And of course if you get sideways to the wind, you can get them coming in on a side angle as well. But uh, certainly you don't want uh, to have the wind coming at your face. Because that means that any takeoff shots or landing shots, are, they're going to be facing away from you. So um, a great weekend. Thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm hoping that I'll be able to invite you along for future trips as well. See you next time on the Better Photography Channel.